Hi everyone. I think you can see the ring light uh, better. Guys, right now I'm gonna talk about OJAS. O J A S. I have done my inner engineering in October of 2021, and this year it's 2022, February, almost the end of February. So I did it mid October. And I haven't skipped a day, and I haven't skipped any of the days when I did my 40-day mandala. And I have been losing a lot of weight. I was then 135, I would say. I would fluctuate up or down, um, 132, 133 maybe, and I would go up to 140 uh, during that time. But right now, I just weighed myself. This is um, the lightest I have ever been, which is uh, 115 pounds and I really thought uh, it was my diet because I've also really changed my diet um, from having some non-veg food to now purely veg and you know I still eat some junk sometimes some chips and um, some eggs actually I know they're non-veg but um, my mom eats them um, so sometimes when she makes food she still adds some egg into them and yes yeah, so I'm I'm trying to eat purely vegetarian and then of course some eggs when um, when it's in the plate or when that's what's being prepared or if my friends actually invite me to some of their gatherings and they have some some chicken or meat then I'm not gonna have, I usually don't refuse the food and I would eat some um, but on some of, those are just rare occasions and so I have told myself that um, maybe it's my diet the reason why I'm losing weight and I guess it is a factor too really and um, the amount of food that I've been eating I would say is also a little less um, maybe my appetite is not as huge as it was before it's not as big as it was before right now I could also say um, it's my appetite that's also affecting my me losing weight and then I have encountered this video about Ojas and then it says that you know we there are people who steal from Mother Earth where they eat food but they never gain the weight because this energy is converted you know into a um, different dimension to um, push them forward into their journey or like um I really don't know how to explain it but my understanding of it is to have some sort of um, bumper around you so you move with ease through this life so I think that's another factor too because you know there are days where I actually eat a lot of food especially white rice and I love white rice and I tend to eat a lot of white rice and I don't notice how much I've eaten until I stand up and feel that I'm super duper full and even if you know there are days where I eat white rice after a few days like the weighing scale still somehow tells me I'm losing weight so I think that could be a factor too so my diet change um, the amount of food that I'm consuming and I think it's all just <laughs> you know I'm not sure if this is it but you know I want to believe it it is it is it because I really want to have that energy in a different dimension because I really want to I really want to skyrocket someday so I'm building up that energy for when I'm ready and of course you know the little bit of lubrication around me to go through life oh just oh just okay also very interestingly this is um, just another topic about, you know, where we try to build ourselves or make ourselves in a way where we're able to go through hell. So I've been in a situation just a few days ago where I visited um, someone dear to me and I know this situation is not going to be um, the best in terms of um, the environment because I know I'm going to have to face some people um, where I'm not really comfortable with 
and um, I know there's just gonna be some friction that's going to happen in terms of the dynamic of the relationship so it's just like any other family dynamic so I was preparing myself where I could be there and um, you know be at ease be happy and be joyful even if I walk through hell and because I prepared myself in a way where I'm going to be in that situation I think the preparation really helped because I've lasted um, two full days and two half days so maybe like three days in that situation where I didn't react uh, in a way where I didn't want to react so it was smoother and no crisis no emotional breakdown it was good I'm just saying to say that I think if I think me trying to really establish stability inside me like my inner self works with um the things that are happening in life mind you though when i came back and when i came back after the trip i sense a lot of negativity inside me where i'm cranky and impatient and um i feel like there are situations where i just want to burst in emotions of anger and being aware of these emotions coming up and I still thank God have the opportunity to respond to it in a more sensible more reasonable way where okay I sense this anger coming up but I can respond in a calm nicer way and so I did so until until that moment you know has passed and slowly slowly then get negative energy has dissipated the negative whatever but i don't know how to describe the negativity all i know is i could feel it and it somehow dissipated and right now i really feel better so i think you know the sadhana that i've been doing religiously is helping a lot and um just being aware of the situation that may come and you know preparing the situation that helped too and hopefully I could prepare for situations that are I am not really aware of so yes guys I think sadhana really helps and the all just around me <laughs> is helping too well, that was only 8 minutes and 31 seconds, but I think this is good because I'm enjoying this, guys. And I hope that what I share with you guys, you could relate to or some bit, bits and pieces of it. And it'll, hopefully it'll give you more gas for your journey in the future. Namaskar.